Good day fam. Uh, this is Ton back with another uh, installation video. Uh, this time I'll be installing the uh, LED interior uh, lights, uh, replacing out the halogen bulbs in my 2021 uh, Toyota Highlander. Uh, bulbs that I'm getting again. Love the uh, Last Fit brand. Uh, love the warranty. Love the 6K uh, light output. And so I'll be replacing the lights. There will be two lights on the front door, bottom, and also the rear second row above the panoramic roof as well. And I'll be replacing the rear hatch bulb as well. So for this install, interior lights, uh, these, um, you can, I'm gonna install four of these. Uh, these are the 194 bulbs. And then this bulb right here, I'm only going to use one of them for the uh, rear hatch. I believe the size is DE3175. Uh, I'll put the product links in the description. Uh, but basically, these from LastFit, I got these specifically, specifically because the, uh, the ones on the market tend to be size 30 millimeter or 31 millimeter. And although they can fit, it's going to be a really, really tight fit. So these right here are 28 millimeter. And so um, installing these uh, will run less risk of having to break the actual socket because you're trying to force in uh, a larger size uh, LED bulb in there. So I'm going to go with this one. We'll see how it works and let's we'll go ahead and get started. The only tool that I'm going to use for the time being is this uh, micro uh, flathead screwdriver. Um, you can use a pry tool, but this metal piece right here it's going to give you the sturdiness needed to be able to pry out and it's small enough where it's not going to scrape the, the plastic on the, the car itself. So let's go ahead and start with the uh, front door lights and you can see how I get these installed in. Alright, so we're starting with the passenger uh, door side, front door right here. This is pointing towards the car. So um, you're going to start on the right side. This is my right, so it might look like your left in the video. But you're going to start with the right side, use your flathead, push it in, push it towards the left, and it'll just easily pop out. Just get a hold of it, and you pop this bad boy right out. When you get it out, unplug the socket, just like that. So now this piece is out. From here, you're going to flip it around, and right at the middle right here, this is a little clip that you want to pull up. And as you're pulling it up, you'll push the gray um, socket back. So that way it'll unhook from this uh, cover piece right here. Let's see if uh, you'll be able to see it. I don't know if you can see it that well. Pull. Put some pressure on it. There we go. Then this. All right. So once you got the cover piece off of the socket itself, you can use your flathead, and there's going to be some pins on the this side right here on both sides that you can unclip, and that will allow you to remove this portion off, so that it makes it easier. To take out the halogen bulb and then install the LED bulb right into the socket there. Now when you do this it would be a good idea before you put everything back together just plug it back in just to make sure the light works. So the light works so that's cool. And we can go ahead and move forward with the rest of uh, the installation in reverse order. So putting this in and then taking this piece, clamping it, it back on. We can do it this way, All right? And then now I'll just take this and just put it right back. It clips on.
clips in. Put it back in. Just put it back in there. There you go. Just repeat this process on the driver's side and let's go ahead and work on the uh, second row uh, dome lights. All right, so now we're doing the um, second middle row um, upper cabin lights. I'm in the front um, passenger seat. Gives me a better vantage point to see uh, there's this little groove right where I can stick my uh, flathead screwdriver in to pop this cover out. So once I'm able to do that, I'll go ahead and show you what this cover looks like. Very simple process here. So this is what the piece looks like. pop it right out like that and if you can see this is the two pop two two points that you pop out and then this piece will just come right out so now you'll notice that the lights are off I turned the um, cabin lights off because I did not want these bulbs to be hot when I pulled them out with my fingers so again really simple plug and play get your LED bulb Plug it right in, and before you put the cover back on, let's go ahead and quickly turn on the light. Bam, it's, it works. Now you gotta do, pop this piece right back in. And there we go. So now the front door is done, the second row is done. Now we're gonna to move to the rear hatch. All right, gang. So here we are in the third row or the rear hatch, whatever you wanna call it. And we're going to replace the uh, dome light in the back here. So there's gonna be two grooves, one right here and one right here that you can use your little flat head to pop out really easy. Pop. Oh, in my face. All right, so there's the bulb. All you gotta do is just push this side here and the bulb should fall out. Don't have your mouth open, otherwise it'll fall into your mouth. <laughs> right, so you just push, and then it should just fall right down. I'll use this in. There you go. So just for size comparison, this bulb here, the stock halogen compared to the last fit bulb. This right here is the one that is 28 millimeters, right? So for a size comparison, it's uh, pretty equivalent. If you can, if you can see there, right? If you got um, those that are like 31, 32, be careful because it might be a tight fit in here. So let's see how this fits right in. Just stick it in the left side, and then it should just pop right into the prong itself. See? There you go. Test the light out. Ow, dang, that's bright. Woo, love it. Right, so that works. Let's go ahead and pop this back on. There you go. I'll see if I can do a quick video of all these lights on at night just to show you how much brighter it is inside the cabin. All right, so here's some nighttime action. There are the lights. Again, these are the stock LEDs, I'm not messing around with those. This is how much brighter the cabin is with the last fit bulbs in there.
There's a look from the back. That's the rear hatch light. Oh man, I wish I could show you before and after. This is so much brighter and exactly what I needed. So that way when my kids or my nephews and nieces sit in the back, they can see how to put their seat belts on and whatnot. Anyhow, hopefully this helps, but this is what it looks like at night, y'all. Peace. And just in case you may have thought I forgot about the interior map lights above the sun visor, I did not. For these, I'm not using any last fit bulbs. I'm using some cheap um, Oxido uh, bulbs I got off of eBay. Uh, I got this like in a 10 pack for like 15 bucks. I don't really use the, the visor that much. So these cheapo bulbs are gonna do for now. So installing these is pretty straightforward as well. Uh, basically, when you open up the visor, uh, you're gonna aim towards the left side and there's a, 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 a bracket that you're gonna force to the right and it should just pop right out. So stick uh, my flathead in here, bam, pops right out, right? That dangles there. Remove the halogen bulb. Then take the LED bulb, test it out. If that doesn't work, then reverse the polarity, flip it around. Try it again. There we go. So stick it right back in. Let me open it up. Now you got the LED bulb right there. Just do the same thing on the passenger side. As for the map light, I am not touching these. These are actually already LED. There's a LED diode that's uh, soldered onto the circuit board. So it's not uh, a, plug and, a plug and play situation like these bulbs that we did for the rest of the car. So it can be done. However, you have to remove the entire piece and then open it up and then buy the little um, small LED diodes. And then if you have um, skill or, or experience in soldering, you can do that. But you know, that's more, more trouble than I'm willing to, to, to do. And plus, when I'm using the map light, I actually prefer this warm light if I'm reading something so it's not harsh on the eyes. So there is a benefit to, have, to leaving these lights the way that they are. And that's just my personal preference. So there you have it. Installation of all of the interior lights inside the 2021 Toyota Highlander Platinum. Um, the second row, it might look different if you have a lower trim model. Since um, the panoramic roof uh, takes uh, up most of um, the, the roof line, uh, your, your bowl, uh, the, um, the bulb pattern might be a little bit different. But it's going to use the same bulb, uh, 194. Anyways, I hope you like these videos. I'm, I'm trying my best to put out a, a new video every week, and I'm just trying to figure things uh, um, as I go. I have uh, about three or four different videos lined up already uh, pertaining to little mods that I plan to do to, to my car. Uh, so let me know in the comments, what would you like me to see do next? Is there, are you a Highlander owner as well? Uh, is there any tutorials you want me to put out? Uh, I'm trying to grow my channel. I would love it uh, if I had your support. If you were to um, like and subscribe, and it'll give me motivation to continue to create more. Anyhow, take care, everyone. Peace.